Hi YouTube. Hey guys. Um, apologies for the camera. It was a bit wonky, but it's in response to a question I got asked the other day. Um, see a lot of videos on YouTube about grab bags and trip through or kind of bug out bags and all that nonsense. Um, not really been into the whole bug out thing. Um, just because you were a stay and. I've, I've never really believed that things would get that bad that you'd have to kind of bugger off and take everything to survive and um, but never say never um, so what I've done is I've kind of threw together a wee I don't know what you'd call it a, a, I suppose it is a bug out bag um, just a wee daft day sack that I got off of eBay probably about a year and a half ago or so it's just sat in a cupboard, not been used, and I'm in the process of cleaning out a lot of gash to, to put it a better way. It's a load of rubbish. Um, after my last video when I was away camping with my pal Stuart, I realised that I do have probably more stuff than I need. Um, I know there's guys out there that are going, oh, you never, you never have too much stuff, and to be fair, guys, you can, especially when it's, it's taken up three quarters of a room kind of thing. Um, so you're, you're, you're constantly moving one thing out the way to put another thing in its place and it's it's like the wee puzzle games you used to get with the missing piece. You're just moving everything around to fill a gap. So uh, I've, I've had a wee bit of clear out and gave quite a lot of stuff away to people that are interested in going outdoors and just not major. No, I'm not keen away of all my, all my kind of good stuff if you understand but what I'm doing is just things that I've got maybe three or four then I'm getting somebody one it just means it frees up space and I'm no going to fall into the trap where I get rid of one and I'll buy another one to replace that I need to stop I need to show a lot of <laughs> I need to show a lot of self restraint guys because it is one of the biggest catches in the, the, the kind of outdoorsy type thing because you always want to buy the newest, shiniest, best gear. You want titanium this and ultralight this and packable this and something that does ten things at once. It just it's it's madness. So I've decided that I'm going to revert back to my, my my kind of military days, my army days, where I take as little kit as possible to get me by for the length of time that I'm there. Um, those that know me. Sorry guys, those that know me know I am the absolute worst for taking too much gear. Um, my mate Tam will, will, will vouch for this. Uh, the, the first time we went away up to one of the mountain bodies up in Scotland, um, I had a full issue PLCE Bergen with everything. And guys, I mean absolutely full CFO. It looked complete equipment fighting order. I had stuff that I, I would never intentionally take with me anywhere but I had it all in the bag and my burden must have weighed about I would say close to 10 stone and we were walking just over 14 mile cross country with that um, obviously I, I can I learn my lesson it took me time I learned my lesson it nearly killed me and to be fair guys back then I was fit I was out running and Cycling and hill walking and doing a lot, lot more than I'm the new. Um, but I that that was that was sore. I've I've never been so grateful to get into a place, and I think we ended up dumping half the stuff that I was taking three quarters of the way there, and then picked it up on the way back because I just I couldn't have made it. I genuinely couldn't have. And if if Sam ever watches this, he, he will completely and utterly agree. Um, but again, it's the mentality that I have to change. So anyway, you know that a wee bit of rant there, guys, sorry. What I've done is, as I said before, I've threw a wee pack together. Now, nothing special. I'm, I'm no expecting this to be the best. It's it's just things that I've threw into a bag and I thought, right, well, if I'm going to wait for 24 hours, this is what I would need in a basic situation to get by. So first things first, guys. The bag, it's just a wee 28 litre Molly style, wee cheapy hang for China, about half eBay, I think it was 6 or £7. Pound. 
Um, I got it and then it ended up sitting in my cupboard, as I said. I, I got it with my ex-partner, we're still staying here, so... Um, and I've said about that. So, let's get into it. Right, obviously, as you've seen, guys, it is... Hang on, I'll just tilt these forward a wee bit so you can see. Da, 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 da. See if I can do this without count me's over. Hey, okay. How's that looking? That's better. Right, so, just standard, so obviously, Molly loops and stuff. Come if it's China, guys, it's not the greatest of quality, but do you know something? It does. Um, in the first wee zip pouch, I've normally got a head torch, but that's on charge just now. multi tool, Just a wee cheapy one for Tesco, or as I can't remember about it. Um, usual kind of scenario where you've got your knife, uh, or your wee accoutrements, you've got a file, scissors, just in case you want to give yourself a wee trim. Um, and this wee bit, which I think's quite handy as you can see guys I gave it all a good tighten up um, it's a wee kind of socket type thing and that's what these all fit in there so it's wee attachments that fit into that which I thought, do you know what a handy wee gadget obviously I've got my small multi tool in my, my combat jacket anyway um, but again this has just been thrown together so that's my multi tool as I said, as well as that, I would normally have a wee kind of head torch in here. Um, and the bottom pouch here, I'll just loosen this off a bit. Uh, just a wee daft first aid kit, guys, nothing spectacular. A couple of bandages, some plasters, uh, a bandana for either a sling, dressing, water filter. Um, Sweat rag for obvious reasons. Uh, now, <laughs> I know these are probably looking going, why does he have a grater? Um, I don't know if any of you have seen the Gerber make them, the brandy by Bear Grylls. It's a wee grater on the front for making Tinder. So I picked this up for a pound shop donkeys ago and I thought. And that, that could work, and as you can see guys, I have tied it out, and aye, it does work, gives you lovely wee shavings. Um, gives you a nice wee pile of dust to get your spark in, should the need arise. Uh, a wee commando wire saw, just wee kind of standard, bog standard one you get in the, the survival tins. As I say, over the years in my, my military career, guys have picked up all sorts of must have gadgets, it's kind of all the gear but no idea, so I had everything gone but never, <laughs> I never ever got the chance to use it because I was never in that situation um, and here also a wee wee LED torch and a wee whistle <whistles> wee compass on the top here um, If I remember right, I think I got this with a pair of walking boots ages ago. I think I did. Aye. Anyway, so um, a couple of these. Now I featured these in one of my first videos, guys. Um, these things are absolutely cracking. The roll up. up um, Water bottles, I normally get them for the pouch, I normally get a couple of packets at a time. Um, they hold 450ml of water. As you can see, as I've written on it. Don't think I'm going to pick that up. Um, you get mad designs, they're normally designed for like picnics and take the kids to the beach and stuff. But the day is water carriers. As well as that, obviously, you'll have your, your, your kind of carrier bags and all that nonsense, but I thought they were quite a good idea. So I've got three of them. Um, a couple of the wee, I think they're, they're, they're plumbers, plumbers fastenings. Um, just a wee kind of stainless steel ring with a clasp on it. 
So I've got a couple of them just in case I need to attach anything to my gear. Um, as I said, not not the fancy, not the special. Uh, this is a bit of a weird one. I don't know why I've put this in, but it comes in handy for time to time. Guys, the tripod a bit wonky um, This is a micro screwdriver. You normally get them using, uh, get folk using them for computers and fixing stuff. So, as you can see there, you've got the, the wee fittings. You just simply magnetically fit into there, and there you go. You got a wee screwdriver there. Just a wee daft thing. Um, I don't even know if I'll ever use it, but it doesn't take up any space. Um, and it sits in one of the wee molly slots at the side there. So that's that. Uh, just a standard pen. Um, going to trade this out for a Sharpie. I've got a Sharpie actually sitting there, so this will get traded out. small fixed blade knife um, again just a wee cheapy thing in fact if I remember right I think I found this one of the times you went to Ben Older somebody had dropped it and found it in the way in um, just a wee, it's like a wee angle arms solid thing with paracord and the handle and it also comes with a wee fire steel so I've got another way of kind of procu procuring fire or starting fire and should the worst come to worst I can take the paracord off lash it to a bit of wood and use it as a spear or whatever uh, I've got in fact hi there you go guys see I knew I had a sharpie in here somewhere um, large lock knife you've all seen them guys bog standard that's just for game preparation and stuff like that as I said, it's just a bag of threw together. It's no designed to be anywhere or do anything specific apart to help me get by. So that's the two front pouches. One of the, the second uh, the smaller of the two big pouches. Hexamine cooker with lighter and blocks. Sorry guys, I just try to you for the light, unfortunately the light's right above me. Um, so as you can see there. Hexamine blocks and a lighter. Just for self contained, just gives me another way of cooking. Um, speaking of cooking, I have a Dutch water bottle, canteen, and a KFS set, set at the back of it. So, obviously, the can is a water bottle. Wee cheap. Camping cutlery set out of pound shop. Again, guys, I know a lot of people slag them off, but pound shops are actually getting quite good. And the aluminium butterfly cup with handles. So, therefore, I can set that in the end of the fire or set it on the hexy stove, whatever. Whatever kind of proves to be more convenient. Um, okay. And this. This is a wee fire starting kit. Oh, excuse me. Um, in here I have storm matches, ferrocerium rod, butt spark, um, cotton balls with wax and Vaseline, and I've also got some pine resin in there as well. So, again, just another way of starting fire. Trail brewer, silence, snap sticks, ten lights, the Americans call them, we just call them glow sticks. Uh, the trail brewer ones, tactical green, and the ones are these. What's the red ones? Dun, 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 dun. Two green, one red. So, obviously, you know, you mark your position. A couple of wee sealable bags, just in case you do it and you can't come across anything. Um, 
i.e. look, birch bark or pine resin, anything, gives you somewhere to put it in, old man's beard, anything at all like that. Um, I have a small folding shovel, for obvious reasons guys, either digging a fire pit or digging another season or, I don't know, various different uses, just a, again, we cheapy one. Um, not expecting it to last, but if it gets me by, it gets me by. Otherwise, I can use a digging stick. Uh, my fixed blade is one that my pal Tam brought me back from. Can I remember? It was a wee holiday somewhere. Um, full time, as you can see, 440 stainless steel. And it's also got the lanyard holes, sorry guys, it's got the lanyard holes here and just at the back here where my, fin my pinky is to secure it. So again, be able to make it a spear. Now also what I've done is I've attached about 100 feet of bank line to the sheath, just wrapped it around, bog standard. Um, that again allows me to do fishing and stuff like that. Um, the one thing I never put in here is a wee travel fishing kit with some hooks and sinkers but again that's something I can add in. Um, so that's oh hang on what else have I got? I've also got another flint and steel a wee again a wee bog standard one out of the survival tins you get I should um, and no need judgment here guys a piece of a woman's tight, right? It's it's no being worn. Don't panic, you dirty minded so and so's. Um, the reason I've got this is because what I can actually do is I can put this over the mouth of my bottle if I have to procure water. Put that over the mouth of my bottle and tie it down with some of the bank line, and it just stops any debris getting in. So, for example, if I'm sitting, if I'm sitting that in the mouth of the river. What I'll do is I'll put that over it, like that, just to stop all the twigs and leaves and crap all get in. Again, it's just a wee added filtration and then it's easy to boil it up for there. So, I'll just pop that in there. As I say guys, it's no perfect, but it's things that I thought I could use and I could get by with. Um, in the main compartment, I have other things for shelter, so I've got a wee five pound saw, nothing fancy, but gets the job done. Uh, my wee travel towel, I don't know where that went to. Um, couple of my lot of blankets, foil blankets, just in case. Um, again, guys, about two per pound. Um, pound shops are everywhere nowadays. It's either pound land, pound world, 99 pound stores, and all the other ones. Um, just every now and again, pop in, have a look. You'll be surprised at some of the stuff you can get. A lot of people that kind of shop in them don't realise the things you can get until they're actually in there. Um, so, yeah, two mylar blankets, two st bog standard PVC rain ponchos, so should it kind of start chucking it down. As I say, it's just nothing fancy, just to keep you dry. Um, again, if needs be, be pebble in the corner, twist it, wee bit of bank line, you can make yourself a temporary shelter. But hopefully I should need that with this. Which is my British Army standard issue desert DPM basher. Um, I put the desert one in here just because it gets used less. The DPM one I've got normally get shoes for my day stuff and my DD tarp is in my Bergen at all times along with my hammock and other stuff. Um, along with the, the basher, I've got paracord. Um, that's needing to be replaced, but I've just I've just had a, a reel of 
550 delivered. So I'll be replacing that. I'll take this off and maybe even just use it as a ridge line for one of the tarps. But again, um, to help with the aiding of putting the shelter up, various different bungees and elasticated cords, just a wee bog standard again guys, nothing fancy, nothing special, a couple of pound, um, bag of cable ties, various different lengths and sizes, as you all know, come in handy as hell for attaching things to your pack or helping repair shelters or maybe even use them as a temporary release your shoe if you're in a paracord or whatever. Um, I've got four, sorry, five stainless steel pegs to help, sorry guys, five stainless steel pegs to help either configure the, the tarp to the ground or make a lean to or peg in one of the guy lines or whatever. Teach needs to suck eggs here guys I know but um, again, <laughs> one, two is one, one is none. I well, don't know what five is, but again, I've got another wee ferrocerium rod. Um, just this one's quite new, so it's not actually been struck at all yet. There you go. So, another way of making fire. It says I've always got one in my pocket anyway, wherever I go. I've got one of my keys, part of my, my EDC thing, I think you call it. Um, just handy wee things, waterproof, windproof, always, never let you do so many thousand strikes, can't go wrong well. Um, and just a small hank of paracord, about five metres here, nothing special, just, I think it's the wee kind of cheap stuff you get off of the eBay. Um, as well as that, for a wee bit of comfort, um, in the back here where the, the hydration bladder can go, what I normally do is I'll put one of these wee folding sit mats. Just again, acts as a wee bit of cushioning against your back and it also gives you something to try to sit down. So, it's 99 pence off the internet or something. 99, in fact I'm sure, 99 pence will be be. Can I, can I grumble? So, that's everything guys. Um, obviously I've got various different carabiners and stuff that I can attach to the outside should I wish, um, but all that fits in a wee cheap pack and there's more than enough. The only thing I'd probably expand on would be the, the first aid kit and just have a bit more kind of larger dressings and stuff. Um, playing with the idea about getting an axe but to be fair, if I'm out and a, a bug out situation, as you like to call it. Um, that that should be more than enough because I've got food. Sorry, I've got fire. I've got water. I've got the metal container to cook in. I've also got a means of cooking, whether it be fire or the hexi tabs. Um, I've also got ways of procuring water with regards to the folding bottles, and the the poncho can turn it upside down collecting rainwater, things like that. Um, I, I reckon everything in there should do me fine. But if you can think of anything else guys, just feel free to drop me a message. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm no one of these preppers or whatever you call it, the, 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 the kind of doomsday, aye, doomsday prepper. Um, I just, I threw this together so that it means that I might be even one day in the future just challenge myself and go out and say right, everything in this bag I'm going to have to use to survive a night. Um, but again, a lot of people maybe have sleeping bags or wool blankets and stuff. The, um, the bag does have attachment points at the bottom so I could even get away with, I don't know, a roll mat or something. Or a, a, they're called a, a Czechoslovakian bedroll, something like that. But again, it's just threw it together. So if you think of anything, guys, just feel free to drop me a wee message. Um, as always, 
thanks for all your comments, likes, subscribes, um, spread the word, just hopefully going to try and get more videos done being actually out on the ground, um, it's just work recently has been a bit mad because of the nature of my job so hopefully I'll, I'll get out sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, but, hi guys, thanks very much, take care.